Are you a service member that just received orders to Northeast Florida? If so, I have five tips before you make Northeast Florida your home. Hello, my name is Roberto Paredes. I'm a real estate professional here in Northeast Florida, and I've been licensed since 2005. Prior to that, in 1997, I had the honor of raising my right hand and committing myself to United States Navy. So I served proudly for 10 years. Um, I was an AZ, Aviation Maintenance Admin, and my first duty station was a VF-101, which was an F-14 RAG squadron in Virginia Beach. I served proudly there, had a great time. Then I received orders to VAW-124, which is an E-2 squadron in Norfolk. And I had a great experience there as well. In 2001, I served on the USS Enterprise during 9-11. And then in 2003, I had the honor of serving aboard the USS Theodore Roosevelt. But somebody during that last deployment, uh, it was a warrant officer, gave me some advice. He said, if you want to retire a millionaire, buy a home everywhere you are stationed. On average, people receive orders to uh, move every four years. The first four years, you might not be able to get a home because you start off you know, with low pay. But then after that, then um, your next four years, you can purchase a home the four years after that. So really the idea behind that is it's a lazy man's way of being a millionaire. So you own a million dollars worth of assets that eventually will be paid off after 30 years. And they'll have equity in them that you can utilize to refinance, to purchase something else, do a 1031 tax exchange, but it's a smart way of doing things. So anyways, I then got stationed to NAS Pensacola General Billet Orders and got my license in 2005 and started helping a lot of service members buy and sell homes. And I've been doing this so long and, and have helped hundreds of service members buy and sell in Pensacola and also here in Jacksonville, Florida, that I believe I have some amazing advice that could really help you buy these assets and, you know, help with your retirement and perhaps retire rich. Very basic stuff, but it's the basics sometimes that are everything. So here we go. Tip number one, buy a home. Don't rent, buy. First step, get pre-approved. I don't recommend you go with Navy Federal or USAA. We could talk about that later. Or at the very least, speak to them and then speak to somebody else local. If you want, reach out to me. I will recommend our go-to lender that beats them out nine out of 10 times. Every once in a while, for some odd reason, they'll do a really good job on one person or over another. But for the most part, my guy can beat them out in regards to obviously rates, costs, but more importantly, service, amazing, amazing service. Anyway, so get approved, buy a house, do not rent. You're throwing money away. You're giving somebody else all your BAH and you know, you're paying off their mortgage and you're putting money in their pocket by yourself. If you're single, then it's even better in the sense where like you can rent out the other rooms and somebody else can pay off your mortgage. So definitely buy, do not rent. That's tip number one. Tip number two, buy right. What does that mean? Ideally, if you can buy a three bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage, that's newer, that would be ideal because those type of homes are more attractive to the most amount of people. So that would be the ideal scenario if you can buy something like that. Perhaps something older that's already fixed up, ideally with a roof that's newer or whatnot, but that would be the ideal situation. Tip number three, buy close to the base because that's where the ideal pool of potential renters are gonna be at, okay? It doesn't matter what's happening in the economy. Military gets paid on the 1st and 15th, right? Buy close to the base so that way that can be your pool of potential tenants moving forward. I don't recommend you go further out than an hour, but ideally less than a 30-minute drive drive to the base. There are two major bases here in Northeast Florida. We have Mayport and we have NAS Jacksonville. So definitely buy as close as possible to the base. And in that way, that will almost guarantee that you'll always have tenants available to you. Tip number four, think long-term. What does that mean? So when you purchase the home and you start making updates, don't replace carpet with carpet. Get a vinyl plank, get tile, start making upgrades, thinking about long-term, thinking about a tenant's going to live in here. Is this going to break every year? You you know, if so, buy something and invest in something that's going to be uh, just going to last a while. Always think about long term. This is an investment property. The house you buy, especially the first one, is not going to be your dream home. It's not your forever home. It's an investment property. So that's how you always want to keep your mindset uh, when you're making you know improvements to the home and when you're selecting the home as well. So ideally something with newer roof, newer AC, all those things. But if not, get a home warranty. That'll hedge against possible.
possible losses moving forward in the future. Number five, rent to the DOD. So the ideal situation is that it's a Department of Defense employee. There's a lot of them that have, you know, secret clearance and, you know, they, they have to make sure to be in good standings in a lot of ways. So if they're not paying their bills, they could possibly lose their job, depending on what their jobs are. That actually happened to me. I had an air traffic controller give me some bum checks for an account that was closed well before he wrote me those checks. I told my legal officer that my legal officer spoke to his legal officer and I got my money. So you get a tenant, they stop paying you. You can talk to their legal officer and then you can get your money. You can make sure you get their money. That's super, super important. Um, and that way you'll always be able to, you know, make sure you secure your investment. You know, you make sure that that tenant there works in the military. You make sure that the property is updated in order to cater for tenants. You make sure you buy close to the base. You make sure you buy right. If you have any questions or like to talk more in depth about this, please do not hesitate to reach out. Shoot us an email at info at rphomegroup.com. We'll add a link to uh, below that'll show you all the houses that are available for sale in Northeast Florida. Along with that, our seller success plan. You're thinking about selling? That's information that hopefully can be of value to you. We just want to be of value here. So everybody have a great day. Take care. Stay safe. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and smash the like button so that we know that you like what we're doing so we'll do more of it.